Well, hello there. If you enjoy our content today, think about subscribing and at least pressing that like button. That would really help me out. Thanks. Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda, and this is Alexander. Hi. Hello. Alrighty, since we have Alexander here, he's our brother from another mother. Not my brother, my son's brother. <laughs> I'm friends with his mom. Um, he has just come back from being in Greece for a while, and so we're going to have yet another Greek tea. So, what can you tell me about this tea we'll be having? Um, well, it's, it's Cretan tea, so that's the island that my family's uh, from. So, so I'm having your, your family tea. Well, I don't know if it's my family's tea, but yeah, it is, it's my people's tea for sure. It is a wild tea, so I'll pick by hand for sure. All right. Um, so we don't know if it's considered like a green, a black, or like a, a yerba mate or something. It's a mist tea -ry. It's It <laughs> looks like mulch, um, but you know, I was very pleasantly surprised by the mountain tea, so I'm really yep. excited about this one. If you take a look. So, um, do you have any idea about how we how we measure or brew? Or I, I think Greek people are very simple. You boil the water and you stick it in for five minutes. All right. Well, <laughs> that tends to be the prescription. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Maybe it's. I guess it's time to sharpen the scissors. Okay. How does it smell? It smells spicy. Oh, it's probably spicy. Oh, that smells spicy, all right. I'm gonna be honest, as much as I love everything Greek, I do not have high hopes for this based on the smell. I think it smells good. Uh, his honesty is a definite No, I'm not gonna, okay, not gonna lie. Okay, again, it does look like mulch. It really does. But we've had some interesting teas before, so. Oh look, there's Stigs. St <laughs> Stwigs. St Stwigs. Stwigs. Sticks and Twigs. <laughs> Sticks and Twigs. 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 All right, all right, all right. I hope that's enough. All right. Um, hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. What if it tastes exactly the same as the last tea? <laughs> That would be very interesting. If this tastes the same as the mountain tea, that would be, uh, I don't know. That would be kind of strange. Oh. Strange-ish. So, woohoo. This is your first time at the channel. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Linda. I am a hot tea addicted, porcelain loving, self-taught potter who is obsessed with all things tea related and Disney. Um, this is Alexander. He Hello. is um, our my son slash my son's brother from another mother. Um, he is Spencer. S Spencer's. Spencer's. Yes. <laughs> One of. <laughs> <laughs> One of his best friends. Uh, oh, we the have, best friend. <laughs> we have known Alexander for. The God, how long has it life. been? <laughs> uh, the biggest part of his life. Since first grade? Um, yeah. We've uh, all scouted together. So yeah. boy scouting is not, not necessarily a bad thing. Scouting has done it's a great thing. wonders for my family. So Scouting is a fantastic opportunity for a lot of people, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay, this is, I'm a little leery of this. This is very mulch, mulchy looking. I will say this, everything I consumed in Crete was delicious and fresh and beautiful to eat. It seriously looks like yerba mate. And we all know how I feel about that. 
<laughs> okay, so it is kind of like a dark Chardonnay color. Uh, I'd put it more of a raw honey color. Um, it is clear. There's a little bit of particulate in it. Whoa, that smells very piney. That's... That smells like Pump Park. Yeah, it smells, to me, it's, it's more pungent in the container than the cup. In the cup, it's not that pungent to me, but you're right, it does smell like the park. Tastes like the park. That is not pleasant. It's very earthy. Kind of gross. Um. Now, I speak from experience <clears throat> because I was once a very small child and made poor decisions, but I've eaten dirt before and that's what this tastes like. Yes, that's been steeped with pine needles. <laughs> yes, it tastes like Texas dirt. Yeah, it, it, it tastes like dirt, pine needle dirt that's been boiled. That might be what the stwigs are because they do have pine um, trees in Crete. But no, that is, I am not a big fan. Um, I am going to say that I'm not a big fan of that either. Um, I feel like I need to brush my teeth. You know you need uh, some more <laughs> of that mountain tea to I clean need to, up. I need to chew on a piece of stick, you know. Um, that mountain tea will clean your head out, um, fix you up. <laughs> that's, um, yeah, that's not my favorite. It's not a winner. Um, but to be fair, I have had worse teas. I would rather drink this than have a glass of Yerba Mott uh, or anything with the Twining's name. Um, Oof, I agree with that. Oh, do you remember um, that one tea we had that was like absolutely terrible? <laughs> We've had a few of those, sweetie. <laughs> but it was like... Need to be a little bit more specific. They, it came in the silk sachet. And it was like the little triangle looking ones. Mm -hmm. And it tasted like, I think it had some hibiscus involved with it. Okay, again, you gotta be a lot more specific. <laughs> I've had over 500 teas at this point. It was like sour and just, it, it tastes like, vinegar tasted better than the tea. Like it was just gross. Yeah. That was worse, so. I, I don't know. It was purple too. <laughs> so. Again, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at the the old stuff. Yeah, it's um, been a while. I've I I have had better teas. I've had worse teas. Um, would I call this a dumpster fire of a tea? No. Where's but, the thumbs? It's oh, two thumbs down. Gosh, we haven't done that in a long time. Two thumbs down. Yeah, that's just not doing it for me. Ooh, and now that it's cooled off some, yeah. it's even more earthy. <laughs> it's not good. Oh God. Yeah. Ooh, goodness. All right. Well, <laughs> with <lesson>. that, <laughs> thanks so much for coming by and having a cup of tea with Alexander and myself today. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me. And from Spencer, myself, and Alexander, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.